yeah, back at it again, man. Another day, another dollar. Got my bill ladens. About to go check in in this office. I never been here before. It's my first time here. So let's get checked in, baby. So I was in the wrong door. Well, not the wrong door. I went into the wrong side of the building. So she told me where to go. So what I gotta do is go all the way down to the other end. There's two different buildings. So I gotta go down the other end to the other side of the building. And then I gotta bring them my paperwork and they're gonna tell me where to back in at. She's gonna let them know I'm already here. So by hopefully by the time they I get a door. So let's get it, man. It's cold. All right. So uh, I was down there, so she told me to come down here. So every door is packed. So I know, I know most likely I'm gonna have to probably wait for one of these two drivers, or even maybe him. Oh, and that's smart to pull in here and then come down like this. But I know how I'm gonna get in here. I'm not worried about get, how I'm gonna get in here. I'm just worried about getting in the door. All right, man. Man, it's so cold out here. It's crazy. Weather just switches up like nothing. All right, let's get in here, man. So, the location that's on this paper is the wrong location. So he wrote down the right location. He said it's, he said it's a block away, so I wanna go right here. He said he don't know why they got it down on this one. So I basically came here for nothing. Basically came here for nothing, but you know what, ain't nothing I could do about it, so I'm just gonna enter this eight court drive and just go to this next location. And hopefully that's the right one. Cause I gotta get upstate, I gotta get these pallets off, and then I gotta drop this trailer off and go pick up an empty trailer, and I gotta head up head upstate to pick up another load. So this is already, it's already letting me know this is gonna be one hell of a day. So I'm literally one minute away, right around the corner from here, so let's get it. It's a lot of traffic around here. It was real tight over there too, man. It was mad tight. I know I could have got in there, but it was real tight, but I'm just, I just like it when it got more space. It just makes it a lot easier. So I got to take this right coming up. And hopefully this 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 place got more space for me to back in and everything. But we're gonna see about it. We're gonna see about it. Man, that sun is blinding. Woo-wee! Eight court drive. Right here. This is court drive. Number eight, so it's gonna be down here. It's showing to the right, so as long as I see build, building number eight, this is size, so that's six. That's six court drive, he said eight. I see a truck over there, all right, Hope Valley. That's the name of the company, Hope Valley, so receiving right there, so. I know I'm gonna definitely have to turn around. There's a truck in the door right now. I know I'm gonna have to turn around. I don't know why I did this. <laughs> ah, boy. Well, you know what, I'm gonna go get checked in and I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn this bad boy around. So he said when that truck move out the door, I'm gonna back in right there. So right now I just gotta move my truck though out the way. So I turn my truck around that way, when he pulls out of the door, I could just swoop on up and slide right back. So I'm gonna go open the doors right now so that way it's already open. Cause it's cold out there. It's cold out here and I just wanna get it done and get it out the way, man. Makes it easier. Yep, so man, after this, once these pallets get emptied out, 
Once these pallets get emptied out of here, I'm gonna um, go back to the yard and I'm gonna fuel up. Well, I'm gonna drop this trailer first, pick up an empty one, fuel up, and then I'm gonna head to uh, upstate New York. And it's an overnight. I haven't done overnight in two weeks, two and a half weeks, almost three weeks I haven't did an overnight. And I was wondering too if I was gonna do an overnight this week. But it's cool with me, man, because it breaks down the week. So it's a Thursday, so when I come back, it'll be a Friday, and then my weekend's free, you know what I'm saying? So I'm cool with it. So we got the back open. I'm just waiting for him to slide out the door so I can get up in there. I've been waiting here for almost three hours. Look, first and foremost, I knew, I knew it was trouble. When he started coming to the truck, I seen him coming to the truck, and he gave me this sheet. He was telling me that my PO number is not, there's no PO number on this one. <laughs> the first BOL had a PO number, but this one doesn't. So that was the first issue. So he's like, you know what, here, here's my, my boss's number, call my boss, we're gonna, we're, you know, we could resolve the issue. So I called the boss and he's letting me know that, um, he called the, the establishment and they're printing out a new BOL with the full PO number. All right, boom. So I'm thinking we're good. I'm like, all right, cool. It shouldn't take too much longer. So I'm sitting here and I'm waiting. It's taking way too long. That was almost 45 minutes ago. I should have had an update call or he should have been came outside, printed out with the new printed out BOL that was sent over from the company. I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna go inside and see what's taking so long. I got my boss calling me, asking me for updates. Man, sprinkle some holy water on me, y'all. Cause I go inside, I'm like, hey, what's going on, man? Any new updates? He goes, uh, yeah. It was supposed to be a hundred pieces. The BOL says a hundred pieces, supposed to be a hundred pieces. Only 80. I'm like, oh man. He's like, yeah, so right now I'm waiting on my boss, cause he's figuring it out right now. I'm like, oh man. I look down at my Casio. Yeah, I look down at the Casio 1048 I'm like, yo, I've been here since A little, like 807 I got here I've been here since 807 It's now going on 11 o'clock and I'm still sitting here Waiting on this BOL Waiting on whatever they're doing in there And I'm about to get back up and go back in there To get an update, cause I wouldn't even have known There was only 80 pieces if I didn't go in there To ask him, he didn't even come back outside And let me know So yeah man, it, it's just crazy It's going on 11 o'clock Man, I, oh man, I already knew it was gonna be one of those days. I, I felt it in my gut. It, it, it happened earlier when I got into that place. I swear to God, when I went to the when I went to the first place, that was it. It was a wrap. When she told me I had to go to that second door, that was the sign right there. Then when I went to that second door and they told me, oh, you gotta go around the block. I'm like, all right, boom, I'm cursed. I'm cursed today. Shit, man. So I'm about to go inside and see what it, what's going on again. I, I went in there like a half an hour ago. I still don't see no movement. I don't feel them in the back no more. So I know they're not taking nothing out. So I'm gonna go check in. I'm gonna go check right now and see what's going on. So they got me emptied. So I guess they're just waiting on my BOL. Because I am empty. So I'm, I'm, glad, I'm glad about that. I need to get up out of here, man. So I'm unloaded. Just waiting on the BOL. He said there's nothing they could do. So it's just the waiting game right now. So since I'm waiting, I might as well go use the restroom. Because I always have to use the restroom. <laughs> Get those hands clean. Yeah, yeah. All right. Man, I just hope I'm not waiting too much longer. I'm ready to go. Just messed up my whole day, man. I know by the time I get out there, I might not even be able to uh get the load. I might have to. 
They might have to reschedule that load for me to get in the morning. And I might have to just go head out there and go straight to the hotel. I'm pretty sure that's probably what I'm going to have to do. It's already 11. Yup. <laughs> if I don't get up out of here within the next half an hour, I'm sure I'm going to have to get that shit rescheduled. Well, on a good note, I am empty, and they did take out those pallets, those 80 pallets. So I had to move out that door because there was another truck that needed to get loaded. So what I'm going to do now is just close my doors up since I'm out the door, and then I'm just going to wait around for my paperwork. Still ain't ready yet. But it is what it is. All right. Close this up. Alright, doors are closed. So I'm just parked on the side of the building. I'm just waiting on my BOL. And I'll let y'all know how long I waited here. Alright, so my boss just called me and let me know that the paperwork should be good. So I'm gonna go inside. He didn't even come outside, man. And I just talked to him like right before I closed the doors, he told me there was no paperwork. So everything is situated on all ends. The paperwork is put together, all the errors are corrected. Um, it's signed off on and everything's good. However, they have to print it out and he can't do nothing about the paperwork until they send it to him to print out. And then he said to print it out, it takes a little bit of time. So I thought I was going in here to grab my paperwork and go. I ain't going nowhere yet. Lock this door. Man, I'm so tired. This was a five, a five and a half hour drive. It was supposed to be a four, a four hour, four hour and 50 minute drive. What am I walking over there for? But um, man, the traffic was so heavy and I wanted to stop so bad to grab something to eat, a little something to eat. I got my lunchbox with me and but what I needed, what I need to heat up, what I got for, for food needs to get heated up. And I wanted to stop so bad, but I kept looking at that clock. I'm like, oh man, I, I need to just hurry up and get to this hotel. I want to take these boots off, take these clothes off, jump in the shower. And if I stop, you know, that's just more time in traffic, more time on the road. I just really want to get to this hotel. So I just kept it pushing, man. So. The time is now. Let's look at the Casio. <laughs> oh man, 7.23, so you might as well round it off say it's 7.30. And I'm just now getting to the hotel. So let's get up in here, man. So, I am in room 216. I'm always on the second floor. I didn't park in that parking lot this time. It's just too much of a walk. I wanna be able to come out that side door and just go right into my truck. <sighs> I'm just gonna stop parking on the side of the building instead. Plus, it's, it's quicker to walk. It's quicker to get to uh, get to the building. Oh man, I'm so tired. I swear, you don't understand, man. I just sick 216. This way, this way, this way. You don't understand. I just want to kick off these boots and just plop down on the bed. And I hope it's a a king room and not a twin twin bed. <laughs> Shit, let's see about it. Ah, twin bed. Ah, oh, man, twin bed, but you know what? I don't give a damn. A bed's a bed. It's been a crazy day, a long day, 
I'm tired. I don't know if you can see it in my eyes. I'm tired. I'm about to go jump in the shower, eat my food, throw my body back in this bed, and fall out. I got to get up at 6.30. Well, I got to get up at 6. Um, I'm going to go eat some breakfast. I'm going to have enough time to eat my breakfast at 6.30. And once I eat my breakfast, I'm heading straight to uh, New, New Anchor. No, Anchor Glass to pick up my load and whoosh, head back towards home. Yeah, so I'll see y'all in the morning.